cupcake domination. Let's go, Five let's minutes. go, let's go. Right. Bring in the fire. Holy cow! And one by one, they'll be eliminated as they're judged on taste. Test your food before giving it to us. My stress level is about at 110 at this point. Presentation. This one is really a swing and a miss. And in the final round, the last two bakers standing will have to bring it all together into one incredible fantasy cupcake display. The winner gets to have their creation as the highlight at one of the most popular, cherished summer events in the country and walks away with $10,000. See that, ladies? You see that? I'm about to go down, and I can't let this happen. Get ready. This is Cupcake Wars. What's up? I'm Justin Willman, and we are about to kick off the ultimate cupcake showdown. Watching over this war are our judges, Candace Nelson, founder of the world's first cupcake bakery, Sprinkles Cupcakes, and Florian Belanger, owner of Mad Mac Macaroons and former executive pastry chef at the world-renowned Fauchon. The kitchens are set. Our judges are ready. Now, let's meet our competitors. My name is Vista Miller, and I'm from Orange County, California. My company is Dolce Vista Sweets and Treats. Dolce Vista, this is Vista. We're an online business. We rent a kitchen space and deliver from there. I got started after my son's second birthday when I tried to make him a cake, and I took a few classes, loved it, and went from there. This is looking good. My assistant today is Mandy. I am afraid that there will be a moment or two today where I lose my cool, and I think Mandy will be the perfect person to calm me down. We're good at crazy, so let's make it happen, Vista. I do want to open a storefront. We need to win because we want California to know that we can make the best cupcake out there. Cupcake Wars, here, here we come. come. I am Courtney Bonning, the owner of the Bon Bon Bake Shop in Cleveland, Ohio. I can't imagine anyone else is bringing as much experience as we are. We don't have a retail storefront yet. I'm not just some like football player or supermodel that just decided to become a cupcake maker. I was a pastry chef for three years and it's something I'm really passionate about. Oh, that just happened. I need to wash my clothes. I'm working with Becca today. She's a trooper. She's a blessing. There are no mistakes, there's innovation. I'm gonna win because I've got the background. I have put a lot of effort into my business, and that's why I need to take this win home. All right! <laughs> I'm Therese Wong. The name of my cupcakery is Carrie Cakeaway. It's an online catering business, and it's in San Francisco. I pride myself on being an adventurous baker, not just making red velvet every day, but just coming up with something new. We're spiking our cupcakes. How can you go <laughs> wrong? Karen is my assistant. She's the perfect person to come into battle with me because she's so even keeled. She really helps manage all of this pressure. I'm willing to take risks, so I'm excited to see what ingredients the judges will throw at me. LA, here we come. My name is Eric Larson from Salt Lake City, Utah. The name of our bakery is Heaven Cupcake. Every single week we get more and more orders of people ordering online. 200 chocolate, 100 vanilla, red velvet. My assistant is Danny Paniagua. We're not like the serious cupcake makers. We're the big time <laughs> bakers. We just work well together. We really play off of each other. America's not gonna know what hit him, dude. We got Don't this. stab me. Bruce. My wife is pregnant. She's due in a week. There's a very good chance that while I'm gone, she could be having our very first baby. We really could use the money for the baby, but also so I can get into our own bakery. Ladies first. That's right. Here we come. Cupcake makers, come on up. What's up, bakers? Welcome to Cupcake Wars. Today's battle takes us to a star-studded party celebrating one of America's greatest, oldest baseball teams, the Los Angeles Dodgers. And one of you will be taking your cupcakes to the exclusive VIP party, celebrating the Dodgers themselves smack dab in the middle of Dodgers Stadium. Oh, I wish I knew a little bit more about baseball. And if Major League exposure is not enough, the winner also steals home with 10,000 bucks. We start the war with challenge one, a taste test. Your job is to capture the excitement of watching a game at Dodger Stadium by making a cupcake out of foods found at its concession stands. You can choose from ingredients like Dodger dogs, beer, garlic fries, and nacho cheese. Mm. 
And if that's not a big enough challenge, you've only got 45 minutes to do so. Starting now. I see a Dodger dog, and I see peanuts, and beer, and ketchup, and mustard. Oh my god, there's no way to do it. Okay. Best event ever, so dude. dude. So what's on the table, they have like caramel corn, peanuts, they have churros. Dude. Churros would be a good one. I love churros. So today we're going to make a cinnamon cupcake. It's going to have caramel in the middle, a peanut frosting, and garnished with a candy corn and sprinkled with peanuts. Okay. Got it. Let's do it. Let's go. What do I always get at the game? Besides beer? Beer! Love it. <laughs> awesome. I knew pretty much immediately I was going to be working with a beer. So it was just getting that second component together with the beer. Caramel corn? Caramel corn and peanuts. Today we're going to do a chocolate porter cake with a caramel corn and peanut crunch filling, porter and white chocolate ganache, and top it off with a toasted meringue and caramel corn and peanuts. This cupcake really has some refined elements of things that you're going to see at the ballpark. I am adding the porter beer. Oh, yeah. This time, I'm heating up the dark beer. Who goes beer. to a Dodger game and doesn't drink beer? I saw the beer, and I thought, there's got to be some way that we can make a cupcake out of beer. We have to taste the beer in this cupcake. This is our main ingredient for the cupcake. It's a challenge ingredient. So we're going to make a chocolate beer cupcake. What's better than cotton candy? We're going to make a cotton candy Italian buttercream. We are using cotton candy sugar instead of regular sugar. It's blue, so it's going to be perfect for the Dodgers. OK, I'm going to start the buttercream. Two egg whites. When I tell Karen about all of the ingredients on the inspiration table, we first think we should go with the churro because we make a really great cinnamon cupcake. You and I love the sweet and savory combination. Yeah. I want to do something really risky and just go for it. So we put hot dog chunks in the churro batter. We're going to make our cinnamon cupcake with hot dog pieces finely chopped up in the batter, dunked in cola, topped with a cola meringue frosting. It's such a huge risk, but we're going to go big or go home. I think it's worth a shot, because I really don't think anyone else is going to do it. You think just a cinnamon cupcake is going to be enough? What do you do to a churro to make it look like a churro? Fry it. Churros are normally deep fried. These are the big leagues. We're probably going to have to take a chance. So I said, heck, let's fry this cupcake. Let's do it. This is not your grandma's bakery shop, dude. OK, let's do it. Here we go. We're in business. I think this batter needs even more hot dogs. We're going to be at that game. OK. We got this, dude. It's going to be like having a beer in one hand and a bag of caramel corn in the other. Excuse me? OK, I'm going to the oven, dude. Have a good one, bro. Cupcakes are going in. These judges want a home run, bakers. 20 minutes. Oh, no. OK, ice water is ready to check our sugar. So we get started on our Italian buttercream. It requires us to cook the sugar and water on the stove, and then we mix that in with a French meringue. And it becomes this silky goodness buttercream that's just out of this world. Oh, my god, I didn't use the floss sugar. I didn't use the cotton candy sugar. In the madness of trying to get our buttercream going, I'm just using regular sugar instead of this blue cotton candy sugar. And I had no choice other than to start the buttercream over again. I'm more than freaking out. Cotton candy is our second ingredient. We need to have cotton candy on our cupcake. This Food Network program brought to you by Weight Watchers, because it works. Birds flying high, you know how I Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Breeze drifting on by, you know how I feel. Weight Watchers, rated number one best plan for weight loss by U.S. News and World Report. Join right now and you can join for a dollar. Weight Watchers, because it works. I like to do a book of interviews from the point of view of the help. What if you don't like what I got to say? This ain't about me. I heard what y'all was up to. I'm on help. I'm on help, too. We all are. I got to come up with your questions, too? Oh. On August 10th. Have you lost your mind? No, ma'am. But you about to. <laughs> Every story matters. You should read the book. It's scandals. <laughs> White scandals. <laughs> the Help. Rated PG-13. Discover something new from Stouffer's. New Stouffer's Sautés for Two. Mm. This deserves... 
one. Now, inspiring meals like grilled chicken asiago tortelloni. Not bad for a Tuesday. New Stouffer sautés for two. Find more ways to get to the table at letsfixdinner.com. There's more than one of these abandoned racetracks in America today. Automotive performance is gone. And all we have left are fallen leaves and broken dreams. Oh, wait a second. That is a Dodge Durango. Looks like American performance is doing just fine. Carry on. Delicious strawberry toaster strudel. Yeah, but no, I have nothing to eat. Sure you do. Hey! You can have the pop tart. Pillsbury toaster strudel. The one kids want to eat. through the boo-boo stage. Now, they're in the real cuts and scrapes stage. It's time for a serious bandage. The NexCare waterproof bandage, made using the same technology trusted by doctors and nurses. NexCare bandages seal out water, dirt, and germs, keeping cuts clean to help them heal. NexCare, serious about healing from 3M. A hot new series. <laughs> mm, ooh. That's hot, bro. This is all about finding the best, spiciest food and see who the last man standing is. We are Heat Seekers. All new, Friday night at 10. On the next Food Network star, only five remain. Mary Beth gets a long lesson from the butcher. You know, you can get a few tips, but do it yourself. Come on. Is this an animal I've seen on this planet? <laughs> Food Network star. All new, Sunday night at 9. Oh my god, I didn't use the floss sugar. I'm just using regular sugar instead of this blue cotton candy sugar. I had no choice other than to start the buttercream over again. So we're hoping at this point that we have a chance to finish our cupcakes. Okay, let's put them on the rack and get them in the fridge because they're going to cool a whole lot faster. They're perfect. Anyone want to play catch? Not a good time? All right, 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Oh my god. Okay, dude. You ready? Real deal. It's gonna be a really, really big chance that we're frying these cupcakes in oil. I'm scared. Okay. Just gonna roll it. Roll it in there. I don't want it. Oh, I don't want it to soak. That one burned. That one burned. By the time I flipped it over, the bottom had soaked up so much oil, it was burning the bottom of our cupcakes. Freaking, it's burning, dude. I'm burning them. I'm sorry. I burned a couple more cupcakes. I'm thinking this might not work. Dude, it's freaking hot. Turn it down a little I'm, bit. I did. Oh, that looks beautiful. OK, Danny, I got it down now. Let's put our sugar into the meringue. OK, I'm going to pour this in down the side so it gets into the buttercream. Oh, it smells like a hot dog. It smells like a hot dog. Is it too much? Cupcakes ready. Make cotton candy. All right. We're going to make fresh cotton candy with this cotton candy machine that we think is going to just help us go over the top with our cupcake. Five minutes. Five minutes, Therese. Okay. okay one, okay, one down. Oh, oh, OK. OK. So I roll them in some cinnamon and sugar. They look like a churro on the outside. We put them in a new cup. Looks just like a churro wrapper. They look so beautiful. Now, we're going to fill it with a little bit of caramel. You got this. One minute. So let's get the cotton candy. That looks great. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
One. Time is up. Damn, bro. Come here. Yes. We got this. We're Woo. done. I get up that line, my heart is pumping. There's Florian. 